G'day, I'm Ash, and welcome back to, uh, well, Plane Mechanic Sim. And of course, we've got to, well, refuel the coolant, refuel the aircraft, and refuel the oil. Um, got called in to intercept some bombers, but they got away before we showed up. Please check all the fluids before the next flight. Simple and explanatory. We've got this beautiful machine in front of us. This is the Spitfire, obviously, as uh, in the last video. And th that flight is about to fly over again. I can't help but every time they come by, admiring them as they fly by. I need to go fly a different game. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Every single bloody time they fly over. Alright, we've got to refuel the coolant, we've got to refuel uh, basically everything. Basically all the, all the liquids except for the, uh, I think, the radiator. It's mainly just the engine uh, stuff at the moment take off the coolant access and take off the coolant cap then I'm going to come down here take off the uh, oil door unscrew the little oil cap here which is quite an interesting design pull that out and now I'm gonna go fill the coolant up so let's go grab the coolant jump up on the wing and uh, can I get the corner of this? Rotate propeller, come on. Okay, there we go. Just cheating my way. Usually I'd have to go and get the uh, ladder to do that. And we're going to fill this thing up. Away she goes. All right. Make sure she's filled up to the brim. There we go. Fantastic. Now that job's done. Put the lid back in. And close up the hatch. Come on, is it going to let me? No, I'm just going to sink in front of the what, game. What are you doing? <laughs> Hello? Alright, we're just going to go put the, the coolant in if, if it's going to be an absolute turd. And close this up. It's not It's not even letting us... There, okay, there it goes. Alright, that's screwed in. Now, let's see how hard it is. Okay, come on. Wheel it over. Put that down. We have to go on the other side. The truck is kind of in the way. Pick up the oil hose and we're going to just... You're telling me that's it? How the hell am I going to get closer in a... This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Every, every ounce and facet of this is just ridiculous. Okay, insert hose, like so, and now we can go up to here, bowels the controls, and let's fill up the oil. It takes too long sometimes. It's a little bit finicky in some regard. There we go. Take the uh, oil filler out. It's not even going to let me... And then we're going to let me put the cap back in. I'm going to put away the hose. I'm going to pick this thing up. And take you back to where you belong. I am enjoying learning about the Spitfire. If anything, this is teaching me more about certain parts about, well, the Spitfire, obviously. I just think this aircraft is absolutely gorgeous. It's an absolute beast, in, uh, particularly in other video games. Undisputed beast, that is. Alright, I'm going to put the oil cap back in. She's screwed in nice and tight. Nicely done. Okay, now, oil access door. That's screwed in and that's done. Okay, next job. We're all too familiar with. This is aircraft refueling simulator after all. Insert the hose. Jump on the bows and controls. Fill her right up. And she'll be right. Now... I should be doing videos on other games, but I'm too at attached to this game. Like, there's tank uh, mechanic sim that's also come out as well, uh, recently. Uh, it's been out for a few weeks now. Um, and there are some decent reviews on it. Considering it's in uh, open beta testing, I think you can get a demo for it too. But there, there's plenty of games that I can check out, actually. Um, in terms of this kind of fixing and maintaining and whatever, what have you. 
But yeah, the tank mechanic sim is more like a restoration of, of ta than a than an actual. That'll do. I think it'd be interesting to see on the channel. So let me know if you want to see that. All right, check piston rings, refuel the coolant, and refuel the aircraft. Intercepted a group of 88s attacking our shipping at Eastbourne. The lead one got away. They ran away before I could catch up. Check the pistons this time, I think. I over revved the engine in pursuit. Sneaky pilot. Okay, we'll do all the refueling uh, later, but first, what we're going to do is we're going to take off the top cowling. As you do. One more. Yeah. Take off the sides. Because I can't hear anything. I'll do the same over here. And that part's getting taken off. Now we need to figure out what was wrong. So it said check the pistons. Because they are the essential to understanding where everything's gone wrong because underneath them is essentially where uh, where all the pistons are hiding so to speak unlike the tiger moth you don't slide out the pistons underneath because this is a v configuration engine you can't necessarily do that so what you've got to do is you've got to do everything from the top end and that's a bit of a pain I suppose it's not really that much of a pain because all you've got to do is take off these internal screws here. As you can see, there are quite a lot of them over the top of the rocket covers. And uh, remember when we did this in the last video, it took me nearly 20 minutes just to figure out what where I was supposed to be. Anyway, we've got that off. Oh, all the valves are fine. So we should be alright then. So we can basically take them out. If only it works like that fast. You know, you'd be servicing like 30 Spitfires a day if this was how fast you actually pulled out all the valves. Okay, so we've got to take off basically the, in this bracket here. And take off all the exhausts because that's important. Let's go on the other side and we should do the same. Yeah. And while we're at it, what we'll do is we'll take off... We're going to take out all the rockers anyway. And this overhead system here just really gets in the way, I suppose. Imagine having to do this, you know, you had probably have to do this within under an hour. Take off that side. And we're going to take off the other exhaust on the other side here. Eventually, we will get access to the pistons, which should be just in here. Maybe. I hope this is how it's going to be going anyway. Of course, we're going to have to take off all the spark plugs. <laughs> this is going to be a long job. I think we might just keep this to this job only, considering it gets really annoying sometimes when you have to do multiple things like this. We'll take off this bracket first. This is basically a support strut. Alright, now that comes. And now, we can take out the coolant pipes. Hopefully there's no leaky fluid everywhere, because that would be a nightmare to clean up. Imagine getting, like, sticky coolant all over you. Alright, still got a few more parts to go. Let's take off the exhaust. Let's go on the other side and get rid of the other exhaust as well, because, again... It's basically symmetrical. Whatever you do on this side, you got to do on the other side as well. And while we're here, we may as well take out all of the... No. Don't tell me no, I just want to take out all the valves. You know, I may as well just dis disassemble the whole entire engine while we're at it. Is there a way we can just disassemble the engine from the whole entire thing all at once? That'd be great. Okay. Oh my god, the screws on this motherfucker. Alright, well, let's let's take off all of the ignition wires. Obviously that's going to be a, a, 
a crucial part. So let's take them off on both internal and... Come on. Click. Alright, that's coming out. We'll do the same on this side. Let's get rid of the ignition wires on all sides. Alright, now we've got to take off the starboard injection manifold, which is just one massive screw fest. That sounds wrong. Phrasing. Alright, here we go. We're going to take out all these long screws. I don't really have any stories about the Spitfire. I, I do know uh, an elderly gentleman who actually owns a Spitfire up in northern Victoria, um, which is the state that I live in in Australia. I haven't spoken to him for about a couple of years, um, but it'd be good to see if he's, you know, passed on his wealth of knowledge to someone else. Oh my word. I didn't realise there was this many nuts and bolts inside just to get towards... A an assembly of such size. Now while, we, while they're doing that, we'll get busy. You wouldn't think on the outset, I know it's, a, I know it's an engine, you wouldn't think there were that many screws <laughs> just for the, you know, intake manifold and induction <laughs> like assemblies. Okay, so here we can see the cylinder block assembly. So if we go any deeper, which, there we are, there's the pistons. So, obviously, uh, it's check pistons and rings. So we're doing something right. All right. That cylinder's fine, that cylinder's fine, cylinder's also good. That one's fine. We've got to wait for this to come off yet. Right. See, so can we take off, take off that? Cylinder block is fine. Okay, there we go. Now we've got access to the rings. Let's have a look. Fine. It's fine. We'll get onto the other side in a second. We'll do exactly what we've done here. We just need to see which piston rings, if any, are damaged on this side. He did say he damaged. He might have damaged something there. Okay, there's the damaged one. Let's go check the first uh, piston as well. Pristine, pristine, fine, okay, that's fine, that is also fine, brilliant, absolutely brilliant, okay, now it was just this one, so we're just going to have to take it, which one was it, it was the middle one, no sir, no sir, okay, well, fantastic, let's go, get on the other side, what we'll do is we'll do the same as we've done to the other side here, uh, first off, we're just going to scan them all, okay, there's the piston head that's damaged, Okay, let's take off the the head gasket, which is this, and then the cylinder block assembly itself. And now we're going to go through and do each of the piston rings. At which point, we should be good to start assembling the thing, and then we've got to refuel the coolant. And of course, this is aviation uh, <laughs> refueling simulator. Fine, fine, okay. Considering the main portion, okay, that is damaged. Uh, that is also damaged, and that is also damaged. Okay, so it's all on this side that is basically damaged. I want to see if I can repair any of these uh, things too. No. One, two, and three. Now we needed to take off. We're gonna have to take off these piston rings anyway. I pull out the bolt, and that's done. Right, hooray! Let's see if we can repair any of the parts that we've picked up. No, nope, we can't. We can't actually repair any of the parts. I'm playing the wrong game. <laughs> I seriously am. I love this game. All right, I'm gonna replace these parts. Uh, well, that's not even. That, I don't even what that, know, know what that was. That's uh, that's my alter ego <laughs> signing that. And now we're gonna basically play. 
um, putting everything back together. So I hope you're, uh, I hope you're as excited as I am to put things back together. <laughs> this is this is like a childhood dream of mine. I've always wanted to work on a Spitfire. And now the job is actually finally starting to come together. Well, that was a long, long period of time. <laughs> I didn't really say much because I wanted to make sure that I put everything back on the engine. Anyway, we're going to put everything back together now. Make sure everything is operational. That is done. Now, all we've got to do is refuel the coolant and refuel the aircraft. And you know what that means. Basically just doing this a bunch <laughs> Running around the other side All right, get access to the coolant door open the coolant. Okay You know the drill from now we jump up here we run and jump at it that is now can we Pour coolant and we just go like that The diagram somehow is following us down. That's okay. Dump that on the ground there. Put the oil cap, oh sorry, the coolant cap back on. Same with the access door there. And now we go and grab Mr. Hosey. Mr. Hosey the nosy. Shove him in there. Jump on the Bowser controls. It's like we're playing a game of Mario in a way. And we're just going to fill her up and that'll be job done. Is. We're done. Turn that off. Jump up here. He's done. The aircraft are going. The aircraft are going by. Davo's going away, and of course the Spitfires are flying over. Now, have we completed everything? We have. Well. Thank you very much for watching everybody. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Usually I do three missions uh, per video, but today we're not going to do so. Anyway, we're going to we're going to go out and uh, probably live stream this later on this week and get ourselves probably five or six missions ahead. And uh, that way we'll be closer to getting uh, towards the next aircraft as well. But that and more to come. Also stay tuned, there'll be a varied amount of other games coming to the channel this week. Uh, I've got a lot on my plate, uh, <laughs> so stay tuned for that. But until next time, my name's Ash, and I'll catch you in the next one.